everyone. Greetings and happy anniversary. This is the anniversary of Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church, 100 years. The first mass was celebrated right here on Schenectady Street in the city of Schenectady, 100 years ago, September 24th, 1922. To be precise though, it was really at a house over there that is no longer there at 531 Schenectady Street and 529 next to it, Schenectady Street. Now they're gone now, but the church was built about a year later. So the parish was the community of the faithful and the parish had their first mass in 1922 in the house right next to this church on Schenectady Street. This was 1923 but the parish itself, 1922, and that is what we celebrate this weekend. And what a great joy it is. Uh, many of our dear family are long gone, uh, and may they rest in the peace of the living God. But there are many happy memories, I hope, that come back to mind uh, for our dear viewers who may see this video for this week, the anniversary special, 100 years of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And guess what? For a good chunk of our first few decades, of ministry and presence in the Schenectady community, this was not the only church. There were actually two churches of Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish. Remember, the parish is the community of the faithful. The churches are the buildings. So there was the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church here on Schenectady Street. And then there was another church called The Hall. That was the uh, nickname for this building, The Hall on Webster Street and 7th Avenue in the city. And we'll see that as well momentarily. So there were actually two churches in Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish, and what a joy. Now, later in the 1950s, the community decided, rather than having two churches spread across the city, yes, there were that many Italian-American Catholics, who were in need of spiritual and pastoral care. Instead of having two churches in Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish, why don't we have just one church, which exists now at the present site at Pleasant Street and 9th Avenue, and right around there in Hodgson Street. So this is a great joy to be able to come 100 years later to have many memories from Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church and all of uh, my predecessors and all of the prior priests who lived here and served here. Imagine if there were two churches, you know what that means, that there were masses going on at the same time. I am one priest that serves three parishes, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish, St. Paul the Apostle Parish, and St. Adalbert Parish, one priest. Now, back in the day, each of the individual parishes had multiple priests. That's how many priests there were to serve the wide community of faithful who lived here in the city with joy. But things change and the population shifts and moves all across the United States and even within the state of New York, there are various uh, shifts in population. But to be back here in God's sight brings us great joy 100 years later. Uh, just a few of us were here 100 years ago and remember Mass either there at 529 Schenectady Street or at this uh, church here, Our Lady in Mount Carmel. Remember, wherever the church building is, that is the church of God present with you and me. So there may have been movements over the past century to various locations for Our Lady in Mount Carmel Parish community, whether here on Schenectady Street or later at the hall on Webster and 7th, the hall, or the current church on Pleasant Street. It is now beautiful. But wherever that may be, wherever that community is, there the church exists. Ecclesia, those who are called together to be one body in Christ. That is where the church of God is. And wherever we may be, in the Diocese of Albany or in the Universal Church, there is the presence of God. So remember what I said at the beginning, that the first Mass was held September 24th, 1922, at a house right there that no longer exists. And that was in a temporary area. It was a very small gathering 
of the faithful. But that is where the body of Christ formed and developed for our community here at Schenectady. Of course, the body of Christ gathered by Jesus from the beginning has been all along throughout the course of human history, beginning with the sacrifice of our Lord and our Savior Jesus. So what a great joy to come back here 100 years later for our anniversary. Now part two to show you where the hall was. Part two at Church Two, everyone. <laughs> so, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish had two churches, the one at Schenectady Street and, as promised, here we are at the corner of Webster Street and 7th Avenue, now the home of the Boys and Girls Club of Schenectady. But this was the second church within the parish. Can you believe two churches? How lovely. And isn't it a great joy to recall how God has blessed us? Now, we may have changed locations and moved away, but we go back to the corners of our lives that God has shown his light on. And we say thank you to the Lord for all of the memories that we bring on this 100th anniversary of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Now God has blessed us with the vocation of serving people in the name of Jesus. The gospel calls us to serve one another in charity and we give of ourselves over and over again. The current Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church houses various ministries in the former school, now Monsignor Spina Center, to serve the faithful, especially the works of mercy. How might God be calling you and me on this 100th anniversary of our parish to serve more faithfully one another in the service of the gospel? That's a real a spiritual question that we can bring to our prayer life this week to ponder what gifts can we bring to uh, the Lord and his people from what, the, from what God has given us. And for these abundant joys, we give back. Since we have been given by God, we give out. We announce good news. We live the life of faith. We are charitable. And I don't mean just with our money, but charitable with our time patience with people, and in serving one another in faith, in hope, and in love for another 100 years. And however God may configure the work of the gospel, whatever that may look like, we really don't know, except there will be one body in Christ, and however the body of Christ may be configured in whatever parish situations or the number of parishes or the number of churches within one parish, However it may be, there is one God, and God is always calling us to work in his name. So happy anniversary, everyone, and to the next 100 years together. So many blessings and joys on this special day. You take good care now. <laughs>